The frame is to support the flooring of a residential house. The frame is subjected to a live and dead load, including the weight of the flooring of 8 kilopascal, neglecting the weight of the beams. Compute the reaction at G and compute the reaction at A. So, base a problem uh, in live load and dead load, including the weight of the flooring or the superimposed dead load, ay may total na 8 kilopascal. So, yun na lahat yung load na meron sa flooring na to. Ina-neglect natin yung weight ng beam. So, ngayon, ang hinahanap ay reaction at G and A. Para mas ma-imagine natin kung paano ba yun. So, imagine A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So, ang hinahanap ay yung reaction dito sa si G at reaction sa A. So, ngayon, alam natin na yung G, ito kasi mga beam to, ba? What would be the reaction here? Imagine, this is subjected to a load. So, yung load na yun, ito yun, for example, concent concentrated load na to. So, ba? sa point G sa point B, magkakaroon niya ng reaction. Bago yun masolve, kailangan masolve muna natin kung ano ba tong force na to. So, paano yun? Yung force na yun, that is the load na nadidistribute sa beam GB. So, para masolve yun, diba, from the previous video, yung tributary area method ang gagamitin. So, first nga, kunin muna natin kung two-way or one-way yung slab. So, ano ba yung magdi-distribute sa beam na to? Sa beam GB. Itong slab na to, saka ito. So, that would be uh, the longer side, which is 4, divided by the shorter is 3. The answer would be 1.33. And 1.33 is less than 2, therefore, it's a two-way distribution. Now, that is a two-way distribution. That means, yung load, mapupunta sa dito, sa side na to, both direction, both all beams. So, ang magiging hati nito ay, magkakaroon nga ng 45 degree. So, pare-pareho yan, ha? 4 by 3. Uh, oh, it's 4.5. Sorry. Uh, 4.1. 1.5. But 1.5 is still less than 2. For this beam, GB, there is 2 trapezoidal. Okay, so same lang. So the formula would be since ito lang naman, uh, Ang tanging formula lang, ang tanging isusolve lang natin ay isa lang. Kasi sama-sama na eh, yung live load and the dead load. So, that would be given is 8 kilopascal. 8 kilopascal and the tributary width, which is uh, kalahati lang din nito to. So, that would be uh, 1.5 meters. And, ang magiging sagot ay 12 kilo newton per meter. So, ngayon, we draw lang natin, illustrate natin, this is the GB. So, we have, since dalawa yun, and same shape naman, so, pwede naman natin na pag-isahin na siya. So, itong 12, madidoble. Magiging 24 kilo newton per meter. So, pareho lang naman yung shape. So, walang kaso doon. So, ibig sabihin, itong load na to, itong pinakamataas na tong point na to, ito ay 34 kN per meter. Ngayon, kailangan natin makuha is yung concentrated load. So, paano yun? Kailangan kN na lang yung sagot. So, i-redraw ko lang. Diba, trapezoid, para mas madali, yun ay triangle right triangle and a rectangle and a right triangle again. So, may yung 24, meron tayong 24 kilang newton meter. Sa rectangular, hindi ba, ang ginagawa lang natin is, multiply lang natin sa length. So, ano ba tong length na to? Hindi ba, yung, this is total of 4.5 
meters. And, ito, ito yan, nabalik ko lang. Itong part, ito yan, di ba? Or, ito, same lang yan. This is 1.5. Itong part na to, ay 1.5. If that is 1.5, and this is 45 degree, that means, this length is also 1.5. So, itong length na to, that is 1.5 and this is also 1.5 kung 1.5 yun sabihin itong natitira is 1.5 din 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5 so ibig sabihin itong rectangular merong length na 1.5 so ang concentrated load doon kung meron tayong 24 kilonewton per meter ay 24 For the rectangular, meron itong length na 1.5 meters. So, 24 kilonewton per meter supplied by 1.5 meter. So, that would be 36 kilonewton. So, alam natin yung concentrated load dito. Yung pwesto nun sa gitna, ba diba? Dito. Bali, 0.75. Ito yung 36. Tapos, Then, yung dalawang triangles, same lang naman sila na 1.5, 1.5. Sa triangular naman, magiging uh, 24 kilonewton. Kasi yung pinakamataas na to is 24 kilonewton per meter multiply by 1.5 meters. That is the length. And divided by 2. So, the answer would be 18 kilonewton. Okay? So, dito naman, sa uh, one-third, yung pwesto nun ay one-third ng balik. Mula dito hanggang dito ay 0.5. Mula dito hanggang dito is 1. Ang load na yun ay 18. Dito din. 18. So, so all in all, ang mangyayari sa beam GB GB meron tayong load na 36 for the rectangle rectangular and 18 and another 18 for the two triangular so, meron naman tayo dito ayan since uh, symmetrical naman ang mangyayari total lang natin 18 plus 18 plus 36 so then uh, summation of forces must be equals to 0 and reaction at G is equals to reaction at P so that would be uh, upward positive 2 RG I mean that is RG plus RB is equals to 18 plus 36 plus 18 downward kasi sila, di ba? So, since RG is equals to RB, this would be RG plus RG. Kaya, 2 RG reaction at G is equals to 72. So, reaction at G would be 36 kilo Newton. So that is the answer at question number one.